Good morning and welcome to today's festive upload. My name's Emma Stake Around for Hauls and Vlogs and Chat. I'm back with a homey vlog, a Christmassy vlog. She's got a Christmas now, so I went for red with a little bit of gold. Um, and I imagine they're only going to get sparklier the closer we get to Christmas. The Christmas dressing gown's out. She's got a chunk in it on. And today's video is going to be great because I'm going to be showing you how I start to organise for Christmas, like my spreadsheet, I've got some stocking filler bits to show you as well. So we're going to go up to Santa's Grotto, which is my office, uh, uh, up top top. So that is Santa's Grotto from 1st of November to Christmas. The door's shut and the elves are working away. And by elves, I mean me. Right, let's go up top top. I'm currently sat in Santa's Grotto. Does it look... Very festive, no. Do I need to put some tinsel across the back? Yes. Are you lot gonna just say yes you do and enable me and encourage me to get festive in my Santa's grotto slash my office slash the bit where the suitcase lives and all the boxes at the back that's just full of tat? I know you're gonna say yes Emma, put some decorations up. I did find this hat and I thought I'm gonna wear this hat but then I put it on and one it doesn't fit and two I cannot get it unless I did the whole section like that. I couldn't, so that, I'm not wearing that. I thought I would start off by showing you the bits and bobs that I got from a Boots in the, um, some three for twos, and also I did notice there's some Black Friday offers on at the moment, which is amazing. And also I got this using Top Cashback, which is the UK's top cashback site, and potentially, my friends, you could make hundreds of pounds by using this site it's absolutely fantastic so before i show you that let me just show you a little bit about how it works so 5,000 brands work with top cashback and i will show you how easy it is to find there's all sorts of brands that you like there's boots there's very there's Ocado, there's amazon it also works on gift cards as well and top cashback are paid by the brands for us to shop on their site and then they share the money and that's how you make the money. It's really, really easy. So let me just show you how I got from top cashback to boots to the, the juicy stocking fillers. It is so easy. Once you're logged in, just type the brand that you want. Boots, yes, please. Thank you very much. And then you find the little, go on to boots here. Exclusive offer. And then you just click, click on this site and then that will take you to boots and you can just get all the bits and bobs you want. When I go to the gifting section, I always do price low to high for stocking fillers. And then it comes up with all the little bits and bobs that, you know, aren't too much money, um, you know, bubble baths, like, I don't know, lip balms, hand lotions, all the little knickknacks that tweenies love. So um, then I bought them and then I got some cash back. I'll let me show you how much. And I got myself £5.10 back. Yes. And that was just like one getting a few stocking fillers. So imagine if you used it getting loads of Christmas presents or loads of Black Friday deals. Oh, you'd be raking it in. It's so easy. And also, you know your girl loves a little, <laughs> loves a little offer. And she loves, make, the thought that I'm making money whilst I am buying a Christmas present is a joy to behold. And also, you can withdraw the money whenever you like. And you can spend it on more presents or yourself. Who am I to judge if you want to treat yourself in the festive season? And of course I have an offer for you. Top Cashback is offering you £15 once you spend £15 on any retailer, excluding takeaways, so you can get yourself £15 back and it comes into your account within 14 days. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box below and now I'm going to show you all the wonderful little bits and bobs that I bought. Um, Thanks, Top Cash Back. I made myself five pounds. And to be honest, that's the dream. Okay, let's have a little look at these stocking fillers. Whoops, broke the box. Okay, so some of these bits are for stocking. Some of these bits I think I'm gonna keep back for presents for my girl's little friends because I think she'll probably wanna take some presents in this year now. She's in big old secondary school. So I thought this little set was perfect. I got two of these. It's two infinity and beyond. It's an impulse and it's like three mini body sprays. Impulse teas, impulse very pink, impulse true love. And they're tiny and these are perfect 
to go in like secondary school bags. The kids want to take a little spray. I don't know. Or maybe if mommy wants to have a little spray, just a little whoosh, whiz around. And it's just so, I love the fact that all the stuff that I loved when I was little, like little sprays and stuff, like my girl is, just love, she loves them. So I've got a couple of these. It's in a cute little box. I thought that was great. Another one, so she'll probably get one and then we can probably give one to a friend. And then a bit of a bigger set. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know I have talked about this. I can't stop. I'm, obs I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Obviously, I've been having allergies and like perfume and stuff sometimes kickstarts my allergies. This does not kickstart my allergies. So, Body Mist by So, I got a um, for £12. This is in the, the three for two. Uh, Candy floss, pink grapefruit, vanilla, and sweet pea. She, that is the perfect tween gift for a niece, um, or like for a family friend's daughter, or your own daughter, or you know, forty-four-year-old mum that loves the smell of so. Love that. They also have like a little set again. This is per perfect for handbags. Oh, this is a little bit different actually. These are also sprays and i've not i've not tried the so sprays so we've got so kiss me so exclusive so when we were young when i was young it was exclamation i don't it was so around when i was young and so sinful oh i'll be fascinating again a great stocking filler or like a good secret santa love those or like a present for a little secondary school friend uh, these I are going to go in stockings. These are perfect for my boy or my girl, to be honest. And these are Reese's Butter Cups. Again, and these are £4, but they were in the three for two. And it's lip balm. And my boy loves a lip balm. And my girl loves a lip balm. And it is the season for lip balms. So I thought those were great. Okay, I'm not going to. But I want to open everything and smell it. But I'm not going to. Because these aren't presents for mommy. Get it in get it in your head. Oh, actually, this is another one that I got for my boy. This is five pound, but again, in the three for two. It's bath soap slime. Can I open it? Oh, colour change bath soap slime. And it is um, Avengers. Can we open it and have a little look? Let's see if it's got a lid on it. We won't be able to, but... <gasps> it comes with a little key ring. Cute. I can't open it because it's got a thing. It comes with a little key ring. Look, little Hulk key ring. Oh, that's cute. He will love that. Bath soap slime. We can keep that in the downstairs bathroom with the bath. My boy has like a really big, luxurious... He showers every day, but he has one, once a week. He has like the most luxurious bath. He'll have a bath bomb. He'll have his tablet on. He'll be like, can you bring me a snack? Living like flipping king. Another great range of um, smellies for kiddos because they look pretty is skinny dip and also i think that's one of the like trendy brands i'm not a trendy person i think skinny dip is my daughter got excited about going into a skinny dip shop skinny dip cherry glaze bath and shower gel that sounds like it would smell delicious can i smell it no because it's probably it's got a lid on it cherry fizz scented bath and shower gel um cherry fizz scented body mist another body mist i'm not going to spray it because it's Yes, can smell it. Oh, it smells like um, a little bit like Bakewell tarts. Nice. And what was the other thing? And also body butter. Again, these these aren't just great for tweens. These are great for anybody that likes putting things on their body, like mummies. <laughs> and one thing for the Disney fan, they had like loads and loads of really fancy. These are skinny dippers. Are fancy pens and my daughter is this six was six pound which is a bit steep if you do it in the three for two my daughter is obsessed with marie i don't know why you know she loves stitch but she's obsessed with marie so a little marie pen i thought that was really nice nice little pen to put in a pencil case or to put in a bag so there's some little stocking fillers if you want to see any other gift ideas definitely go and check out my instagram i've done a tween boy gift guide not just stocking fillers all sorts of stuff and also a tween girl gift guide i'm hoping to do some more I might do a disney gift guide and also um let me know if you want me to do any more gifts or show you anything um yeah very excited these will go to father christmas 
get wrapped up to go in stockings but I think I'm going to keep this one back and this one back for little presents for my girl's friends um I'm just about to crack it open and spray it myself but I'm not I'm not going to right let's talk spreadsheets I'm such a nerd and I love it I'm just a girl who loves a spreadsheet if you've been following me for a while um you might even be here from the days of the book so I used to and this I'm going to tell you what you could do if you don't want to do a spreadsheet get yourself a little pad I've got a little box of pads down here look little, little pads and I, I wish I should have kept it I should have kept them that would have been so nice wouldn't it curses so I used to get a pad and I would have a little pad and I would input I would have like a page for each kid for their birthday because we know their birthdays and their Christmas is really close to each other and Christmas is close to each other and I'd write it in and I'd tot up the money and then I was like a couple of years ago I was like no I'm going to do an Excel spreadsheet because why wouldn't I do that it's so easy to update so on my computer I have two spreadsheets my friends um, if you are new here, so in December we have my birthday shortly followed by my daughter's birthday, shortly followed by my wedding anniversary, shortly followed by Christmas, New Year, then my son's birthday. So from literally November the 1st, from September, I start getting stuff done because it can be a bit overwhelming because there's so much, so many different presents to buy. And also it's quite difficult because, uh, because they're getting all the presents at the same time of year, it's a lot for them to ask for. I don't, I don't know how to make sense. Cause like if their birthday was in like, I don't know, April, by the time it gets to April, they'll have new stuff to ask for. But anyway, so here is the spreadsheet. I'm hoping you can see it to make it as bright as it will go. So, um, I have birthday, Christmas, so birthday, then the money, Christmas, then the money, stocking fillers, then the money. And then when I get things, and I've just deleted some of the stuff, when I get things, I add it in and then I tot up the money. So my girls, because her birthday's coming up soon, her birthday one is completely done. Um, and I'm starting to work on her Christmas one. And my boy's got some Christmas presents and they've got some stocking fillers, but, um, we need to go and get some more stuff and then I tot it up and try and make it all kind of line up with the budget so we do have a budget and at the moment the budget is um because they're quite sim I'm just undoing I'm just undoing deleting all the stuff that I deleted in case little faces because the uh, my children are not too far in age I can kind of stick the same budget I chatted about this on Instagram and I had a few people being like well I have a toddler and I have an 18 year old and their budgets are going to be different but I like to stick to the same budget and if possible I like to stick to a similar amount of presents as well they tend to have like one main present and then um other presents so they'll have one present that's like going to be and it's a bit harder as they get older because when they were little their main present would be like a big massive bike or a big play set but now it's like a computer game so i've been trying to think of things to like bump foot presents so snuddies look like a nice big present also like giant comedy slippers or like snuggly blankets or squishmallows are great but i don't think i'm not too i'm not really sure if they're into squishmallows anymore but squishmallows are, gr are a great present because they're just like they're so massive and they're not hugely expensive especially if you get them from costco um so that's what i do and i add it all up my girls is her birthday is done so it's all on there i know if i look at my budget i've got five pound more to spend um i also really like to get things in sales and offers so we have them like i have a budget but it's always more because i always get it in like black friday sales or i get 10 percent off or i sign up to get sign up for your first purchase you get 15 percent off so um i kind of really enjoy doing it <laughs> i don't know what that says about me and actually all her birthday presents is done and they're wrapped and ready to go so i'm really proud about that birthday presents i mean christmas presents i've got so far four for my boy and five for my girl so i'm gonna have to work on 
on those um and stocking fillers i've only got about oh well no i've got my girl loads now haven't i so i need to go and get my boy um some more stocking fillers great places for stocking fillers are the works uh especially around black friday the works do some great stuff um little fidgets and knickknacks and all sorts of little bits and bobs and rubbish that that he really loves i'll tell you one thing i bought him i don't know if it was last year or the year after it was like a stick it was like about this big about that big right and you extended it out and it had a finger on the end of it i don't know was it two pounds that boy played with that bloody thing the whole of Christmas Day. Let me know any of your organisation tips. You can get little folders you can write things in. Um, do you have a Christmas card list? That's one thing I'm not great at. And one thing I maybe I will work on this year. And maybe I can put the crown on and write a proper Christmas card list. That I can just add and print off every year. Because I have a birthday card list. Do I sound a nerd? Are you watching this thinking I sound bonkers? <laughs> or are you with me? T are you team with me or team Emma, you bonkers? But I like a list. I like organisation. So let's embrace that. Right, I've got to show you a couple of bits as well. Also, I'm going to start doing what I did last year, which is like when I go into a supermarket and then I see something that I really want um, for the Christmas period, I'm going to get a big box and I'm going to add it. And I did that last year. It was really, really, really good. Like I'd go into Aldi and I'd see like Christmas um pretzels and stuff so i saw these in asda the other week we have a few little um christmas traditions at our house that just requires paper plates and serviettes so i thought these were really nice so these will go in the box so n every time i go to the shops from now on if i just see a little bit of food you know like a box of after eight mints or a pack of pringles that are on offer and then when it actually comes to christmas we've got all the stuff um you do need to check though Things like mince pies, and I love the festive bakewells. Oh my gosh, they're my favourite. Um, they actually don't have that long <laughs> shelf life. So don't be buying something now, and then you get to Christmas, and you're like, oh, it's completely out of date. Uh, yeah, especially, especially the festive bakewells. Oh my gosh. I just felt my mouth watering when I was thinking about festive bakewells. If you don't know what they are, it's the same as a cherry bakewell, but instead of a, a cherry, it's sprinkles. Look, guys! So, um, when I did the Home Sense and TK Maxx um, thing the other day, I got loads of people messaging me on Instagram saying they've got mugs and they've got canisters in, which is so rare in England. And on the way back from the train station last night, I just thought, I'll go to TK Maxx. They're not Home Sense, TK Maxx in the ball ring. And I went, I looked around for ages and I saw these. So, Santa's helper mug, $4.99. Which I feel is cheaper than when I've got them in America. And this little jingle, but this is a real hefty grab. This is a perfect hot chocolate mug. And $12.99, a reindeer snacks canister. How nice. So I was really, really pleased. They had so many candles in. Obviously, I only bought the two candles. Um... But the candles are so expensive, like it's $9.99, no, $19.99 for a candle. So it's $19.99 for a candle, or $4.99 for a mug. Can we all agree? We'd rather have a mug. Look at it. It's so thick and hefty. And a canister, please, you are spoiling me yeah so there we go there was a left there was one mug left and i just thought should i get it i thought no i'm gonna treat i'm gonna treat somebody else to the joy so yeah i was really really pleased really pleased with that and in other news can i balance you on here so you can see i mean is it too dark no um you might have seen on my instagram i actually went yesterday went to london went to Covent garden um, and I booked myself to get my ear pierced on my own. Um, I wanted a third piercing. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Can you see? I've got a little star there. So I've got a big star. Then I have like a moon on one side and a star on the other side of these. And then a little, little tiny gold star. So I got that done yesterday. 
So I was really, 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 I had such a nice day. I just went down by myself, went and met up with my management team, and then I just spent the afternoon around Covent Garden, went into Glossier to um, look at some bits and bobs for Erin, um, because that seems to be another thing that people want, she wants. She, <laughs> she um, wanted me to get her a nice water bottle, and she suggested Lululemon, £38. I will keep my eye out in, in the Black black Friday there because I do think that's the kind of thing that will go down. But £38 for a water bottle, no. £38 for a water bottle? Then I could buy this for £4.99. <laughs> Erin, I'd be like, I didn't get you a water bottle, Erin, but I got you a Ray Dunn mug. And she'd be like, no. So, yeah. So, what do you think? And I've got to keep it in for a couple of months. He said two to three months, which seems a lot, but um, I was really pleased. A little bit, it's a little bit tender today. Um, but yeah, we're really pleased. So there we go, that's today's video. We are getting along, we are trooping. I've already made plans for the next few days to go and pick my tiny house, which either you will have seen or won't have seen by the time this video goes up. So I'm excited about that. I've still not got my old houses out, so I need to get them out to make sure I don't um, buy more. This jumper's from Asda. It's very nice. Uh, Supermarket jumpers are always just the bomb.com. I've got loads upstairs and then I just get them out each winter. Okay, right, I'm going because I've lost it. I love you lots. See you soon for another festive upload. Um fa la 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 la. Also, me and Margot are here to remind you don't forget about the top cash pack brilliant offer which is £15 cash back when you spend £15 on any of their retailers excluding takeaways everything is in the description go and check it out say goodbye to your friends Margot say bye bye say bye 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 mm.